Okay, so my name is Emmanuel Arnaud, and I'm an associate professor here at the University of Guelph, as well as the associate director of the School of Environmental Sciences. So the setback that I experienced was about six years ago. Um, my uh, a really good friend of mine, colleague and mentor, uh, passed away from cancer, and um, she was uh, only five years older than me. Um, and this happened at a time when I was having a really challenging time myself with um, just chronic pain that I was having with, related to an injury at work and uh, that was impacting both my home, like personal life as well as my work life, my research program particularly because I had uh, mobility challenges. So, uh, so in addition to the uh, personal loss of my friend, um, it had sort of ripple effects on my uh, my work life, my career, I would say. Um, so the, the night I found out she was going into hospice, I had a panic attack and I, I had never had one of those before. So that was pretty frightening and unsettling, I would say. Um, so I reached out for help through my physician. I went there first and she suggested I uh, go to counseling. So I did that. For several months, I, I met with a counselor and sort of slowly but surely came around to the idea that I really needed to take a break. Uh, and so I went to part-time um, at work uh, to try and get a perspective on what had happened to my friend and how I felt about that, but also just kind of reorganize things uh, so that they were more manageable on, on, on the side of that chronic panic pain in issue that I mentioned. Um, so yeah, and the, the impacts on my research program and things like that. Um, what I learned from it, I guess. Uh, so I think that one of the key things that I learned from it was that uh, the connection between your mental health and your physical health. So they're kind of, they go both ways. Like if your physical health has uh, gone to pot, your mental health goes with it and vice versa. If you're mentally not in a good space, it really impacts your physical health. Um, so that was one thing. And then the other main thing I learned was pretty much that in the end, it really wasn't the norm for a faculty to go part-time. That's really not something I saw around me. And so in terms of comparisons to, you know, you compare yourself to your peers and you go, well, they're not doing that. How, why, why can't I handle this or whatever? And so I learned just that, you know, my path was my path and I just had to find the right solution for me. So it doesn't really matter, um, you know, as long as you're upholding your contract and all that good stuff you know, it's, you're gonna take a different path. You're dealt with a set of cards and everyone's got their own set of cards and they're gonna go at it the way they need to. Yeah, I mean, I just discovered that when you compare yourself to others, you, you, know, you don't actually know the whole thing. So it's about like what they say about, you know, your Instagram posts and how they all look like we're all having a good time. And, you know, everybody's got their set of challenges, I guess. And the more I talk to people, the more I realize like, everyone's dealing with various things and so it's about finding your own your own path rather than worrying about someone else's and or how your path looks compared to other people's one of the things i did or since then is i uh, i've started to uh, uh, meditate so i i meditate with other folks and one thing i learned from that from meditation insight meditation and mindfulness is that you kind of have to think about it as, first of all, it's going to pass. So things kind of come and go and things change. So what you think is a total failure now, you know, things are going to evolve and, and, and change. Um, but also like the idea is that you learn from, you can learn from these uh, challenges and setbacks and it's an opportunity to kind of transform. So my job now looks very different than when it was before the, this setback. So I kind of reflected on where I was at, you know, that part-time status for a couple of years gave me a chance to kind of reflect on where I was and where I wanted to go. So failure can be uh, very much a, an opportunity. And it sounds corny and while, you know, when I was first in it, I was like, this, there is no opportunity here. I felt terrible. Uh, but, you know, over time, you can sort of see where, where it's gonna go and how, how it did it did help things or it did have a positive outcome, I guess. Yeah, I would say like, yeah, things t tend to come and go. So you can, uh, I would definitely reach out for help because you're gonna need it. Uh, we can't really solve these things. 
I find talking to other people really helped for me, either this counselor and or my friends, and um, just to get things in perspective uh, and give it time. But also, the other thing that I found helped a lot, and that may be a good piece of advice, is to keep your connection to outside. Like I found for me, just getting outside was a really big thing. Uh, for me, like just getting back into nature, you know, or and it doesn't have to be really fancy, you know, back of the woods nature, but just even on a trail in the city kind of thing. Um, it just kind of calmed me down a lot and um, allowed me to just get a bit of space away from my the failure or the challenge that was at hand or whatever. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of resources on campus that I accessed at the time and that are available. Kathy Summers' uh, relaxation workshop is amazing. Uh, totally changed my life, I would say. Um, um, what else? The Athletic Center, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, and yeah, your friends and try to keep things in perspective um, would be my advice. Still processing, to, to be honest, the loss of my friend. Like, I still miss her terribly and things like that. But, you know, you, you uh, with time, I think things, uh, some clarity comes out of it or something, something you learn anyways.